child isn't necessarily going to need the same things and how they're raised in life. And the father is not going to ask the same things of every child. Now the father does intend for every child to submit to his authority and his guidance. As everything he does for us is for our good. Whether we understand what he's doing or we agree with what he's doing. Okay? The children are not to tell the parent how to raise them. <laughs> you know, you start running into that kind of thing. You know, in the you know, I always think back to you know the day that my son came home from junior high school. They had a lesson on the Children's Bill of Rights, and so he decided to start laying down the letter of the law to me. You know, and of course, <laughs> me being the kind, gentle, loving parent that I was at that time, grabbed him up by his shirt front and had him up here to my nose, <laughs> and I said, "Make sure when you call the police on me that they bring an ambulance too." <laughs> I mean, this, uh, that's the world's mentality. I mean, look at the world today. How many children are there out there telling the world how to be? You know, the first one comes to mind is that uh, like Greta Thornburg or whatever there, mm -hmm. the uh, you know the the, the, the you know. Greenpeace Act, whatever, you know, you know, and I laugh about it because, you know, you know the, 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 the boat that she sails around the world and is all made is petroleum-based item? <laughs> okay, right on. Yeah, you know, how, how much of what you're wearing is natural materials or recycled materials or, you know, you got this 16-year-old kid, of course, that has been raised up by her parents to using the but I mean it's like you know the, the teenage boy you know who was involved you know that one of the schools where he had one of the mass shootings so he's gonna you know tell us you know everything how things ought to be in this country but I mean that is what the scripture tells us though that that's what's going to happen you know, the world of the country the child is the king you know? children aren't supposed to <laughs> tell you how to raise them child's supposed to be in subjection to the parent. The children are supposed to honor the parent and if need be, you know, as is needed, you know, it's like one place where it says in the scriptures, you know, that, you know, <laughs> you know, the, you beat them with a beat them with a rod, they'll not, you know, they're not gonna die. <laughs> the blueness of a wound. You know, uh, oh, they hate those that, that kind of stuff. You know, they take that right out of the, the scriptures. They don't. Oh, you can't beat your child. If I don't beat my child, guess what? He's going to end up in prison. Uh, he needs to know there's consequences for wrongdoing. You know, so God's providence, God's blessings, God's protection, God's taking care of our needs, our desires showing us mercy, showing us forgiveness, his long-suffering and patience, uh, his giving us strength, giving us comfort, giving us joy, uh, the guidance that we receive from him, the revelation that we receive from him. Okay? We get all those things from him, and you know what? We get them all right when we need them. Right on time. God's never late. Seldom is he early. But he's never late. Never late. Now, concluding, you know, as we restart here our public lives as children of God, I'd like us to recommit ourselves to striving to be the best children for our Father's sake. 
for our Savior's sake, for our own sake, and for the sake of the world to whom we're a witness and testimony and how we live our lives. And all that church in Mississippi who had their bur building burnt down, you know what they're doing this morning? They're there in their parking lot, mm -hmm. gathered together, worshiping the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know? Uh, you know, the thing is, we have to, in spite of common things that are going to come into our lives that the whole world has to deal with, how we react and respond to all these things that are controlled by the hand of God is a determining factor for a lot of people on whether or not they're going to get saved. Now, I wonder if the individual okay, who torched that building, when he sees them coming together and forgiving him for what he's done, or she done, whoever it was, that was who was. And knowing that, and praying for them as they ought to, and continuing to worship faithfully as they ought to that maybe they won't get saved it's important all right last passage of scripture ephesians 1 where we close the service this morning ephesians chapter 1 3 through 6 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved Heavenly Father let us remember Lord how great the privilege, Lord, that we have. How marvelous and unfathomable is the position that we have been given to be called the children of God. Men make light of that and claim that all men are the children of God, and this is not so. Sadly, most are the children of their father, the devil. But through the sacrifice, the obedience of your only begotten Son, our elder brother, the Lord Jesus Christ, it's in him that we have received this great gift. And so I pray, Father, bless us in our lives and help us, Lord, to strive to be children of the King and to be a glory, a object of pleasing and pride to our Father, a witness and a testimony to the grace of our great God and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. And let us take our hymnals and we'll sing a closing hymn together.
And number 37, how great thou art. Our Father, how great thou art. M number 37.
And we ask these things in the name of and to the glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And you are dismissed. Wish you would just do it before we put this house in and go to the